21 of the 22 plaques featuring quotations from famous Scots engraved upon the Royal Mile side of the Scottish Parliament building are male voices. This morning this small band of women have gathered to outline their plans to finally bring balance and equality to this display. The Parliament plaque project was inspired by the existence of a single plaque on the Cannon Gate wall outside the Scottish Parliament. Of the 20 quotations displayed there, only that one is credited to a woman, Mary Brooksbank. Her words were only added at the 10th anniversary of the Parliament. Um, in the spirit of the Women 50-50 campaign, where the aim was to have at least 50% representation by women MSPs in the Scottish Parliament, we'd like to see an equal representation of women's quotes on the Canongate wall, giving visible public expression of women's place in Scottish Parliament as equal partners with men, their views and aspirations for Scotland and the Parliament having equal value. They have been assisted by the Scottish Poetry Library who, as close neighbours of the plaques, are also keen to see a more diverse array of quotations on show. Um, we're only just up the road from the Scottish mm -hmm. Parliament, so again I also noticed myself that we need more women's voices. So what I've done is with the, our, one of our librarians, um, Tony, um, she put out a selection of uh, anthologies and individual poetry collections for you to have a look at today in here um, that are uh, Scottish and Scottish based poets um, some very recent poets some more um, poems that you probably recognize um, so I thought this may be a first step for us to look at there is also this is only a small representation of what we have out there and we have a whole section on women's anthologies so there's a section just literally just outside of women's anthologies um, or anthologies of women's poetry. Already in poetry, people have distilled their ideas into quite um, compact way. Whereas if you were trying to find quotes, which we hopefully will, you might have to read a whole novel or a whole, you know, but if people didn't have so much time, then it's the ideas already in a much more compact form, which is why I approached the poetry library it was probably about a year and a half ago initially, Tiana and I came in and sort of vaguely tried to put into words what it might be. <laughs> the group continue their search for worthy words at the Central Library this afternoon as they look to bring women's companionship to the sole female writer on shore and establish the kind of equality that should exist inside Parliament, outside it as well. Ian McNally, That's TV.